Hello everyone, and welcome to my General Hospital YouTube channel. Hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before we begin, please hit the subscribers button and give this video a thumbs up. At Metro Court's pool, Jocelyn was drying up when Dex arrived. He asked about her first day on the job, so she admitted that it had gone well. He bothered that he might have surpassed by showing up before, but she assured him that he hadn't. She was hopeful the day was in suggestion that she'd have a good summer. That is surely commodity to celebrate. Ready for Rigil? he asked. At Port Charles Surf Lodge, Michael and Willow enjoyed an evening out. Willow told Michael about her day at the pool with Wiley and Drew. They agreed that children adored Drew and Drew should use it to his advantage during the crusade. Still, the discussion took a more serious turn when Willow participated that she had run into Nina at the pool. Michael did not trust Nina, but he conceded that it was over to Willow how important contact she wanted with her mama. He promised to support whatever Willow decided. Michael noticed there had been a shift in Willow regarding Nina. What change? he asked. Willow clarified that she still took everything Nina said with a hefty grain of swab. But Nina had stopped pushing Willow for further than she was willing to give. Willow admitted that it was a relief not to have to throw up boundaries because Nina eventually admired the bones that Willow had put up. Michael was happy for Willow, but he refocused out that nothing had happened to warrant the unforeseen shift. Your uncle happened, Willow said. Will explained that Nina had changed because of Drew. Before she could unfold, Dex and Jocelyn walked by and approached their table. After everyone changed felicitations, Michael invited Dex and Jocelyn to join them. When Jocelyn dithered, Will tactfully suggested that Dex and Jocelyn had other plans. Jocelyn smiled with gratefulness and thanked Willow. Willow awaited until Dex and Jocelyn walked down before she confessed that she was glad to see that Dex and Jocelyn had set up their way back to each other. Michael commented that he talked to Jocelyn over coffee and Jocelyn had made it clear that she intended to take effects low with Dex. Michael and Willow's discussion returned to the content of Nina. Willow explained that she would been inspired because Drew had been suitable to start fresh with Nina. She noticed Michael's shocked expression, but he assured her that he was just taking everything in. Michael was curious if she forgave Nina. I am saying I am ready to move on. Willow clarified. Michael admitted that his own experience in jail had made it hard for him to understand Drew's position with Nina. Willow misdoubted Drew would ever completely make peace with what Nina had done to him, but Drew had chosen to let it go. He is choosing the future over the history. Is not that what we should all be doing? Willow asked. Michael conceded that in proposition, it was true, but he suspected there was another reason for Drew's change of heart. Willow suggested that Drew saw the good in Nina despite all she had done. Willow wanted to see the good in Nina, too, and she admitted there were times she felt as if she had. Michael assured his woman that he wanted her to be happy. Willow promised that she was because everything was out in the open and there were no further secrets or falsehoods between her and Nina. Michael moved to a seat next to his woman and kissed her at a near table. Dix admitted that he liked the new place. Jocelyn revealed that Stella had introduced her and Trina to the eatery on the night of Brooklyn's bachelor party slash matrimonial shower. Dex smiled because he was always ready to try new effects. When Jocelyn admitted that there might be another regal in the cards for them, Dex smiled. Jocelyn confessed that effects felt familiar yet different between her and Dex. She apologized for having been so hard on him when she would broke up with him. But Dex admitted that it had been for the stylish because he had not liked the person that he'd come. Dex credited Jocelyn for forcing him to turn his life around, so he believed that effects had worked out as they should have. According to Dex, he would have been suitable to ask her out because he felt good about himself again, which wouldn't have happened if she had not been honest with him. When Dex asked Jocelyn about Academy, she revealed that she had decided to major in environmental wisdom. 
she also commended that she could see herself dating a Bobby. Dex smiled. In Drew's office, Drew told Curtis about Drew's occasion to run for Congress. Curtis was surprised as Drew filled him in about meeting Congressman McConkie and the Solon's Counterson if Drew decided to run for McConkie's seat. Drew conceded that it would mean taking a step back from the Hardiness Division's launch, but he'd assured Curtis that Michael would remain available for fiscal support. Curtis was confident that he could handle the facts, and Drew readily agreed. Drew asked what Curtis' studies were on the possibility of Drew running for office. So Curtis offered words of support because Drew was in romanticist and realistic, and he'd integrity. Curtis also refocused out that Drew had fought for his country, so Drew believed in liberty and justice for all. Curtis claimed there should be further people like Drew in government. Drew was moved by the praise, but he explained that he'd to work out in many further effects before he made an advertisement. After Curtis left, Drew entered an announcement on his phone that had him lowering. Really, Nina? Unthinkable. Drew lumbered. In Nina's office at Crimson, Maxie complained that she would been pulled down from her family because Natalia had made a list of demands that had needed immediate attention. Still, Maxie snappily realized that Nina was not paying attention. Nina apologized for being detracted because she would been allowing about her awful day. Nina started to tell Maxie about her talk with Willow, but Maxie was intolerant to get back home to her family, especially since Violet was spending the night. Nina gushed about Wiley in his cute syncope caddies, and she conceded that indeed Drew had been tolerable. Nina explained that dancing with the devil was a small price to pay in order to spend time with Willow. So, Drew is the devil now. Maxie asked, Nina claimed that she had seen the side of Drew that numerous hadn't, but she conceded there was another side of Drew too. Nina participated that Wiley lit up around Drew, which made Drew seductive. Nina was certain that Maxie felt the same way when she saw Spinelli playing with the children. Maxie admitted that Nina was right, which was why Maxie was eager to get home. When Maxie asked where effects stood between Drew and Nina, Nina assured Maxie that she had no intention of sleeping with Drew again. Nina claimed that Drew was loathsome and a snake, but Maxie was skeptical since Nina wasn't vulnerable to Drew's physical attributes. Maxie tried to steer the discussion back to Natalia's list of demands, but Drew slogged into the office, maddened over Nina's announcement pricing. Maxie decided that it was her cue to leave, so Nina asked Maxie to telegraph her the list of Natalia's demands. After Maxie left, Drew and Nina traded heated words until passion burned between them. After Nina closed her office door, she and Drew participated a heated kiss and began to tear each other's clothes off. In the quarter main kitchen, Tracy was surprised to see Brooklyn and Chase. Brooklyn explained that they demanded Tracy's help. More directly, Finn does, Chase said. Chase revealed that Finn had been drinking alcohol since Gregory's death, and he fiddled Tracy in about the recent incidents when Finn had tried to play down and hide his drinking. So it was not an accident or moment of grief, stricken weakness. Tracy said, Chase revealed that his family was in denial because Finn had argued that his dependence had been to seek an stroll rather than to alcohol. Tracy offered to put Chase and Brooklyn in touch with a counselor, but Brooklyn explained that their precedence was getting Violet down from the situation with Finn. She reminded her grandmother that, thanks for watching if you like this video. So please don't forget to subscribe my channel and don't miss any updates.